Crashing. Crashing with friends. Get rid of the eye, man. You don't need it at this point. Should I get rid of my eye? I think so. I think so. Well, I mean, it's your choice, obviously, but you know. Oh, you're pro choice. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Your 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 body, your your choice. So, <laughs> Always choose wanna, an eyeball. You know, abort that eyeball, man. Like, do it. You think I should? Uh, it's. I think it's up to you. <laughs> These allergies, man, they make me want to yeah, abort. Like. <laughs> 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 Minor inconvenience of having an itchy eye for the next uh, rest of your life or just removing the eye completely. So, you know. Yeah. Depth perception. I've yeah. been considering. Yeah. yeah. You know, maybe maybe technology's there where you can get a prosthetic eye and you'll be fine. That'd be sweet. And uh, Maybe I can yeah. see different... Um, what's the main thing about having cool eyes? Is you want to see different grades of light or different... Yeah, like spectrums. Yeah, different spectrums. Different Infrared. Spectrums. Yeah. yeah, spectrums. Maybe, oh. maybe, uh, maybe it'll have like little name tags next to everybody, so that way you never forget, you know, a name. That'd be sweet. Yeah, and got all their stats. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, filter like heat vision and go into predator vision. Yeah, yeah. major yeah. pedo right next to people's names and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, that'd be re- yeah, just like instant. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Down- I, want, <laughs> I want crazy descriptive words next to people's yeah. titles. Uh, like, you'll see their name and it'll break down into an acronym. Yeah. You know? That'd be freaking sweet. Uh, I would also love one that like highlights women. It's ooh. like they find oh. you attractive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Golden. Well, elevated body temperature. This one's in heat. You know? Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> Not a woman, danger. <laughs> <laughs> I think the term is ovulating for women. Warning, warning, warning. <laughs> There's like one arrow that points straight to the Adam's apple. It's just like Adam's apple. <laughs> Bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the downside is you might pick up on ghosts, you know, so you might be more more spiritually aware of uh, the supernatural. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it, you know, the see take, the cold take spots the, yeah. before they mm. manifest, you yeah. know? Oh, yeah. There's a movie, uh, see if someone's peed in a pool. Oh, that's, oh. yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. That is brilliant. Because sometimes it just blends in, you know? I see you, Trevor. <laughs> or, yeah. Maybe you should get your ears done, too, so that way uh, you can have subtitles in your eye if you don't like somebody's voice, and you can just, you know, mute them and, you know, somehow read the subtitles and uh, I feel like that'd be more work but yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> i don't know man let's let's keep going with that <laughs> maybe we can just give you the click remote uh, oh yeah there stuff. we go you know what keep the eye we'll get the click remote <laughs> yeah do, is, is, are there buttons on the side of my face that i can just touch to do this or I, yeah i mean it's the click remote the, uh, well, I don't want to have to hold a remote my whole life. Well, that I mean, sucks. it's the the first gen. I'm sure you know after two or three uh, different generations of this technology, it'll be more streamlined with uh, with uh, you know. Or I can just think about it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Buttons on the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> what am I talking about? Or you just duct tape it to your arm. You just have the click remote right there. Just uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. stylish duct tape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the duct tape is still the ultimate technology. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Yeah. Mm. And you know what else is good? Crashing with friends. Crashing with friends. Crashing with friends. Yeah. Crashing with friends. Episode one thirty seven with one Caleb Weiser. Whoop whoop. Like and subscribe for all this tasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only place you can go to get all this tasty <laughs> all yeah. the time. At least once a week. This is what yeah. the snozzberries taste like, guys. Yeah, it, it hits all your taste buds. Sweet. Uh, salty, bitter, uh, savory, savory. Mm-hmm. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. It will also quench your thirst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Electrolytes. Yeah, it's what yeah. plants crave. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. For your mood, yeah. it's the Quaker picker upper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the only place you can go to find all the cool body mod talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. If there's been one topic we've talked about a lot. Over the years, it's body mods. Yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of body mod. I'm bought in. My my, <laughs> I, I I threw my chips in. I'm bought into body mods. <laughs> I'm bought in. <laughs> You're local now, so there's a lot more body mod talk. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you come for the Caleb, you stay for the local body <laughs> mod talk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is Mother's Day today. We're recording on a Sunday. It releases on a Monday. But uh, shout out to all the moms out there because without you, we would not be here. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. Shout out, mom. The creators. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Yeah. Mom, mommy. Or the British say, ma'am. 
Mm. Mum. I watched mom? some. I watched James Bond yesterday, and there's a lot of mum in there. You know. Yeah. A lot of mum. Yeah. That's that's her name, right? No. I mean, no. she goes by M, but I've heard him multiple times say mum. Right. Call her mum. Right. I think that's more of a nickname. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Maybe he has some mommy issues too, a little bit. Yeah. But he's not the only one. James isn't the only one that calls her that. Yeah. In, the, in that, like, what, five movie? It's five yeah. movies, right? Yeah. But, I mean, they, they call her that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, say, like, yeah, other yeah, agents yeah. call her that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, they, they yeah. do. They do. Yeah. Happy, uh, happy Mother's Day, mums. Happy Mom Day. Happy Mother's Day, mother. Uh, Caleb, how's your week been, man? Uh, pretty good. Uh, this week uh, was all about uh, rebuilding relationships that I've lost contact with, and uh, you know, um, it's been uh, it's been nice catching up with a, a lot of a lot of different people that I haven't talked to in a while. Uh, went out to, to Springfield to hang out with uh, some uh, uh, some folks while watching the Northern Lights. So, I mean, um, overall, it's been uh, it's been a mentally positive and. Uh, just uh, jam packed full of, of growth and just happiness all around. You know, I got to hang out with you guys yesterday. That was pretty cool, and uh, did Great that time. before. Yeah, every every time, it's always a good time. <laughs> did uh, did some disc golfing, you know, and uh, yeah, that was uh, it's it's been a good week. Uh, short and simple, really. So mm-hmm. you know, and uh, I'm looking forward to next week. But uh, yeah, I wish I had more to give you. It's, you know, it's <laughs> that's all we want. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, how, how was your week? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Deflection. Hey. Don't look at me. Look at somebody else. <laughs> uh, mine was about the same. Yeah. Uh, played disc golf yesterday. Really enjoyed our time out there. Um, only had one bogey, one birdie, so it evened out for mm. the day. I had, you know, anytime I can shoot even, I'm happy. Um, after that, we went to the social, ate some chicken. Nice. You know? Getting that done. And then, uh, man, I had to spend some time outside, like, filling in my driveway with all this mulch. Mm. Um, it was actually really convenient because this girl that's, like, two houses down from me, like, I get back from my run, like, on Thursday or something, and I see they've got this, like, giant truck, like, dropping off a whole truckload of mulch, like, in their backyard. I'm like, hmm. And then, like, Saturday morning, I was, like, getting groceries, and I was bringing them in, and I saw her out there, like, yeah, yeah, I was like, hmm, Kyle. Mulch that makes you go. <laughs> oh, hmm. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I knew you were thinking that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Saturday morning, I was bringing in some groceries, and I saw her, I'm like, hey, how much did that cost you? Like, you know, what, what's going on with that? And she's like, oh, this was all free. It was from the tornado, and I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, you can have as much of it as you want, you know. And she already had like four bags of it, like like fifty five gallon like trash bags full of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, she helped me. Mulch. Yeah, she helped me like carry them over to my house, and um, she ended up like getting more like cardboard boxes full of mulch. And then um, so yeah, I took all of that to like filled in like these big ruts in my driveway because yeah. it was like it was getting pretty bad. Um, so yeah, it was just. A whole lot of filling in mulch and just hauling bags around. You know, it was, it was very tiring work. I was sweating my ass off. I had my son hat on and, um, yeah, was playing a podcast. Just, yeah, just after it was done, I was, like, very dehydrated and exhausted. I'm just like, yeah. I'm just going to fucking chill out, you know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a really good time. Got a lot of work done. Um, still watching BSG. Finished the first season of that. That was hard. Galactica. Galactica. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. It's yeah. the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, it is good. It is good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, going to keep watching that, watching some anime, playing some games, some Destiny 2, some Helldivers 2 with Jack a little bit lately. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, riding my scooter. I actually got to ride my scooter to work on Friday. Um, got outside, started hitting the throttle, um, got about 10 feet, hit a patch of mud, went sideways. Let go of the throttle, even it out. Oh, good. Yeah, we were all good, baby. Good. You know, good. it was really cool, though. I was on the edge of my seat on that one. I'm like, oh, God, what happened? Did you survive? <laughs> it's like it was almost that covered in mud story that I've been talking about. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I avoided that. It was really cool, though. It was like a sweet power slide. And then, uh, yeah, I just got to work really quick. Enjoyed it. Good nice. ride. Hells yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Glad you didn't get covered in mud, man. I'm really <laughs> yeah. good. It's, uh, it's going to happen eventually, but, yeah. you know, I'm trying to avoid it. 
Yeah, go as long as you can without without it. Yeah, yeah. you know, this is my prediction, but you know, I don't want to, I don't want to make it true. You yeah, know? I want to make it self true. You know? Exactly, exactly. You're yeah. not putting the thought out there. If it happens, it's not because of of, of you. Yeah. Right. I don't want to be the one falling in the mud. But if I'm standing by like a curb and mm-hmm. then like a bus splashes a bunch of mud on me, yeah. then I'll, I'll accept that mud. Yeah, it's know? just part of the territory. You know, yeah. you can. Yep. If you don't see it coming, but I mean, <laughs> if I can avoid it, I'm going to try to. Avoid absolutely, it like absolutely. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Mm, let's go with Kyle. Kyle, what's with your week? <clears throat> Throwing it over to me. Man, I've had a pretty jam-packed week, it, week dude, overall. Um, I watched Godzilla Minus One. Really good. Um, some of the Godzilla was pretty dope. Like, some of the cool... Like, some of the some of the Godzilla you see in that movie was different that well, I haven't seen. What was, like, your favorite Godzilla line? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, one, that, that one's a good one. It's definitely top five. Right, 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 right. Uh, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, for a Godzilla movie, I'd give it probably an eight, yeah. eight or nine. Sweet. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, it's better than the ones that I've seen lately. Mm. All the ones that I've seen, like the Americanized versions <laughs> of Godzilla. Yeah. Not the best. Is it better than the 1999 Matthew Broderick? I've never been Godzilla. the biggest fan of that movie, to oh. be honest. Well... We didn't. I'll, I'll go we, find just, some rocks we just didn't have later. it. We didn't have it at my house, so we just didn't watch it a lot. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, just one of those things. Uh, just like South Park, you know. Whenever that movie came out, like I, the circle of friends that I had at that time, we were obsessed with mm. that movie. Yeah, we were Godzilla everything. I got like a little Godzilla walking toy. It's like a you know like a little mm-hmm. plastic yeah. Godzilla. Had a wire connected to it because we didn't have wireless back then. I remember that toy, yeah. Yeah. And you had to put on a flat service and you just like press a button. It's like, it's walking. Godzilla's in my head. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember watching that movie, but I do remember I had this little uh, picture book that had all the scenes of that movie in it. Mm. And that's how I knew that, like, the movie ended with, like, the Godzilla eggs or whatever. I yeah. forgot about no. that, dude. Yeah. yeah you we remember read looking the at shit out of that. That's yeah. why I never cared to watch the movie. <laughs> yeah. So like, like, we book, looked dude. at that book all the time. It's like, <laughs> oh we knew God. what happened in the movie, so we didn't really ever watch the movie. <laughs> I forgot about that completely, dude. dude like, I just remember that this morning when Jackson talks, like, oh, yeah, I had that book, dude. I was reading that, dude. <laughs> the stuff yeah. you get from Scholastic. <laughs> yeah. Man. That's ballin'. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, Lando Norris won his race. Oh, oh that was big yeah, time, dude. That was Thank awesome, God. Dude. First time. Hopefully not his last. You know, it's pretty dope. He did what he needed to do. Um, what started uh, Caleb being the guest over here was I was driving, going to work out, and hmm. I was uh, as we talked about in episodes past, uh, where Caleb lives. I drive past all the time on my way to the gym. And I just so happened, I was like looking right, and I was like, man, that guy's got a T-Mobile shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, he's also got a hat on. And then it was like, boom, red hair. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and, like, I was in the other lane. I wasn't in the closest lane to Aldi. And I saw you from that lane, and I was like, Caleb, Caleb. And I started screaming so loud. I was like, Caleb. And, and then I freaking cut in the other lane into the, tr- into the Aldi parking lot, dude. Cohen. Uh, anyway. You're that striking, Caleb. <laughs> Man. When it, people see you, they fucking fear an oncoming traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up next to him and just like I was just slow creeping for so long until he finally noticed me. Like, yeah, it was a good time, man. Had to jump out of my car, give him a hug real quick, schedule the podcast. Yep, <laughs> that's, that's how exactly how it happened. Yeah, <laughs> I, had, uh, I had my earbuds in, so uh, I was uh, just in my own little world. And then, yeah, something creeping up on me, like, what the fuck is this person doing? Is that Kyle? <laughs> yeah, dude. And I'm dropping all my headphones on the <laughs> ground, and yeah, it was, it was, it was good. It was a good time. Yep, well, a meet cute. Yeah. Yep. A real life meet cute. Mm. Yep. Went to uh, then went to the gym, worked out. Nice. Been really pumping some iron. Uh, other than that, dude, uh, I was driving. I was at lunch, dude. It was like Thursday, and I was driving home, man. And by our work, there's two one way streets, but they're super close to each other, so you can see into the other one way street lane. So as I'm going onto this one way street, I notice a car 
parallel with me going down the other one way street, dude. It's a street called Jung. So <laughs> I start noticing, dude, it's like <laughs> they're a little ahead of me and cars are having to <laughs> stop for them <laughs> as they're flying down this like they're a fucking ambulance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and this car's not realizing it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably thinking I must be like some diplomat or something, some dignitary. <laughs> Yeah, but, but, you do that turn, and she probably thought there were two different streets or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, man, i got to catch up this lady. She's in, like, some, like, Audi hatchback. It was one of those longer-looking, like, Dodge uh, yeah. Magnum-looking yeah. ones or whatever. And I, I I pull up next to her. I'm going so fast. I'm like, you're the wrong. It's a one way. And, dude, she looks over at me in such terror, man, and realizes it. Oh, my God, I'm in a one-way street, dude. And whips it into my lane. It was so fucking funny, man. I've been, I've been riding that in my head for the last, like, two days, dude. That's fantastic. I don't know what it is about one-way streets and people driving onto them, but it, it it's never not funny to me. It, just yeah. makes my week, dude. Like uh, seeing live happen in front of me is is one of the benefits of being alive. Just mm-hmm. seeing stuff like that, true. Yeah, like the randomness. I've seen that happen in the Yo Show on a uh, you know like a uh, it's not a highway, but it's a uh, you got two different lanes of traffic going like towards the airport. I mean, you lived out by the airport in the Yo Show, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I saw someone like going the wrong way on like the right side. <laughs> like if you were driving towards the airport yeah. from Walmart, mm. they, so they were thinking it was a one way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it's really a two way. Yeah, <laughs> I get you. But see, I almost uh, pulled into a one way once. I got like this close. I was like, all right, I need to go this way. But I was like pulling out of a parking lot, so there was no sign telling me. Oh that. yeah. And right as I was about to pull out, freaking cop pulls right in front of me, and I almost hit him. <laughs> and he just like looks at me and is like. It's a one way. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. So, ever since then, I've been very aware of the one way. <laughs> we had one of those situations with Jackson not too long ago. Remember that? We were in a bigger city, and he was driving, and he pulled out into a one way, and he was uh, driving on that one way for was quite a while. St. Louis or something? Yeah, I think it was St. Louis. You were driving for quite a while on that one way, and we're just like, it's a one way. Yeah, and all these yeah. cars, Jackson's freaking the fuck out because he can't get out of this situation. These cars whipping past him. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I've gone the wrong way down like either Joplin or Wall before. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it's very easy to happen in that part of town, man. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, done, I've been in a time or two. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Man, so uh, last night, I guess. I, like I said, crazy week. Um, actually, before I get to that, I've been watching. I researched slick movies because when I when you guys think of a slick movie, what movie comes to your head? Like Grease. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so yes, fucking Potter. slick. <laughs> <laughs> the Fonz. <laughs> That's the best answer, Connor. But generally, where I think of slick movies, I always think of fucking oh bank heist, jewelry heist. Yeah, yeah. Ocean's 200. Oh, yeah. Oh I get you. The Matrix, then. That's mm, a slick pretty movie. Pretty fucking slick. Yeah. Dude. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, so I researched slick movies, and I've been watching a lot of movies that I just either hadn't seen before or movies that I have seen. So, like... Ocean, all the Oceans movies were on a lot of these lists I was finding. Matrix was on some of those yeah. lists. Mm-hmm. Uh, that movie 21 was on that list. Baby Driver was on that list. Kevin oh. Spacey plays the same character in both of those movies. Mm-hmm. Fucking weird motherfucker. In both of those movies, now that you know about Kevin Spacey, watching <laughs> those two movies and his character in both those two movies, yeah, he is such a grooming, weird, old dude in those movies and also like entrapment. But by the end, ends up kind of well. And Baby Driver kind of saves the day a little bit, but like not really. But I don't know. And Baby Driver, he basically is just like he's like, "Fuck it, I'm caught, baby, you get away." I think right. that's kind of how he looks at it. No. But uh, slick movies, especially Baby Driver. God, can't get more slick. But than God, that. the line that he says in Baby Driver that didn't age well was. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to say it. <laughs> Should I? No, Can you, I? Sure. Will I? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I also watched a movie called The Score. Have you guys ever seen it? Mm. Uh, Edward Norton and uh, Robert De Niro. I've never seen it, no. No. Edward Norton does a fucking, due to Down Syndrome, 
impression for like a lot of that movie it is mm. weird it's is it, <laughs> but it's slick because it, it, it's a heist movie the whole movie is okay. a heist movie uh, so that's why it's slick and by the end it's like ah oh, this was happening and this is happening in here this is like oh uh, all this was going nice. on but this is really what happened at the end what the fuck it's one of those yeah. kind of movies it was really good if you guys like heist movies I recommend the score if the you score. watch it um, it, it was pretty cool nice yeah, did not did not expect that at all. Um, watching, I watched a movie called Sneakers with Robert Redford. It was okay. Um, yeah, I remember watching that in high school. Oh, yeah. But uh, so the next thing, man, my last thing. I'm is, surprised you didn't lead off with this. Yeah, freaking <laughs> last night, dude. There's like a, a little like shitty traveling carnival that goes from city to city. I would assume, but it shows up in Joplin every. Mm-hmm. Once a year or whatever, and it's like mm-hmm. in the mall parking lot yeah. because it's a sh- it's the mall. There's nobody there. Might as well put a carnival there, you know. And driving up, I was like, "Damn, these are some hardcore carnival rides." Like one of them was just like a a loop, a circle, and it was just like it was just a roller coaster, and you're just going in a circle. I was like, "Dude, I don't know if I want my kid riding that, but whatever." Uh, there was a lot of crazy looking rides that I'm like, those look like they should be in a fucking amusement park, mm. but they're in a traveling fucking carnival. Mm-hmm. Like this, this is next level. They didn't have these kind of rides when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. But uh, and you could tell the only thing for that loop thing was there was one link at the top that was like the holding the link. Bolt. The whole, <laughs> <thing. laughs> yeah. but um, freaking Anakin, dude, he is trying to find his other friends. He's there with his friend Calvin. He's trying to find his other friends. He, I guess he sees this group of people get out of a car with ski masks on and knives. Anakin, I guess, says, he, I haven't talked to him yet. He's still at his friend's house. We should, like, he, I guess he made contact, eye contact with one of these ski mask dudes. The dude starts fucking running at him with a knife. And, Anakin, I guess, make uh, he's not dead, so he made it away. He still at his friend's house. Hopefully, he's home by now, but Rachel just let him stay the night again at his friend's house or whatever, but it was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Do they have security what? there, or what, what exactly Yeah, there was happened? a bunch of cops around and stuff. <clears throat> I guess they arrested all these people, but Rachel tried looking it up last night, couldn't find anything. Have you- I'm also looking up Joplin News at this moment. Nothing. That's no, fucking no story, wild. No I stories wanted. of knives attackers, huh? Interesting. But uh, yeah, that was that was last night. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's wild, man. That is wild. That's fucking terrifying. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool, man. Sweet. And why the fuck were you not with your friend is what I was what yeah. we were asking. I'm like, why did you separate with your friends in the first place? We tried to find other friends. You yeah. might find a knife in the gut. <laughs> yeah, I'm like man, luckily you're a wily, fast kid. Yeah. yeah, but you're also like your dad, and you're slow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, Dad, this is what really happened. So basically, me, and my, me, and my friend, we all were, we all were together, and then all of a sudden, uh, two of my friends like sp- sprouted out, and then, um. Then we saw, we were trying to find them, and then we saw a red truck, and two guys walked out with masks on, and <laughs> and they had knives in their hands, and then 20 people, and then we, we would just keep on going on and on, and then all of a sudden we saw 20 people with ski masks, and they all, and they all were like walking towards, and they had like knives and stuff. So we just like we started running and then we and then we ju- we ran to the other side of the carnival s- so that wouldn't ha- so we weren't gonna get like involved like really badly so yeah that's what happened. Well, uh, but yeah, that's my week, man. Watch that Tom Brady roast. Tony Hinchcliffe killed it. Nikki Glaser killed it. There's a lot of cringe, but that's a roast for you. Well, Jackson, how's your week been, bro? Oh, uh, bro, it's been pretty good. I also watched that Tom Brady roast. It was fucking fantastic. Uh, I thought uh, Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura's part was pretty good, too. Mainly Tom Segura was funnier. But 
Uh, I don't like that Burt dude. Screw him. Yeah, he annoys me. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can't can he can't get annoyed. Can't can can. Can can. Yeah, he's on a dirt bike and doing a can can. <laughs> <laughs> um bring in other than that just been kinda like playing a little bit of like Fallout Four here and there. Nice. I'll go and do like a mission or two, hop off, <laughs> play something else for a bit. Uh Man, nothing's really been going on uh, lately. I've got like car repairs that I gotta uh, put on or install on my car, or just basically basic car maintenance. Really, <laughs> you know, I gotta get, but it's just kind of all adding up at once. You know, I gotta get an oil change, mm. uh, new tires, new brakes. Should probably get like the transmission fluid flush too. Like, it needs like almost everything. Needs a wash. <laughs> Did you get the headlight fluid replaced? Um, no, nah, I'll have to do that too. <laughs> it's been, I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> I wonder if that's why all my cars are fucked up. I don't know, I the headlight fluid. <laughs> Jackson, that is your problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, other than that, like, not a whole lot, man. Just been hanging out, trying to relax. I've been playing a lot more Facebook pool. You know what I'm talking about? Just pool. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I have, but whenever I get home, I'm just like, you know, I want to fucking school some suckers and pool, and then I yeah. lose, like, three out of four, and then I'm like, fuck this! <laughs> and then I come back four hours later, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to school these motherfuckers in some pool. <laughs> The video game corner, she goes down. <laughs> yep. I like arcade. I just like basic arcade games, man. Isn't that wrong playing basic arcade games every once in a while? Yeah. I don't like to play mobile games, though. Which is weird. <clears throat> That's fair. You guys remember that Snowball Fight Flash game? Did you guys ever play that? Mm. I think I remember it, yeah. It was like a just 50 on 50, just kids throwing snowballs at each other. That's like cool. Like from a top-down angle. You nah, guys ever played it? Never played it. It does sound fun, though. It was, man. Yeah. It was. Some really cool physics of when you get hit. Yeah. I mean, I miss, I miss like several of them mini clip games back in the day, dude. Mm hmm. There was a couple of banners on there. Yeah. I remember the one where you're like a little spaceship flying around in like a cavern. Remember that one? No. Nah. I forgot about that one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I've also wanted to kind of go back to. Mavis Beacon. You remember that shit? What a sicko. That stuff hits, <laughs> man. The I would want to go game? back to that to see how good I would be at that now, man. Now that I've been with a keyboard for all this time. Mm-hmm. You're like, yeah, man, I'm going to destroy all these fucking spaceships with these sentences. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there, man. Trust me, you can find it. Shift apostrophe fucking on point. Right there. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure there's like Me uh, Mavis Beacon. There's the Mavis Beacon speedrunners out there. Like a big speedrunning oh, community for it. It's big. If it yeah. can be gamed, it can be speedrun. Yeah. There's there's two specific like learning games that I had as a kid or played as a kid that I just want to do one quick run through of them real quick. And like one of them is that Mavis Beacon thing. Uh, another one I think is called uh, Great Word Adventure or Great Math Adventure. I think they're actually kind of lumped together in the same game, but it's like uh, it's an animated game, so it's all cartoons, you know, yeah. and it's all point and click for the most part. But it was all the banter that happened on the game that I really liked. Uh, it's like Huey and Stinky. Huey's a little teddy bear, and then Stinky is a fucking skunk. Mm. But here's the thing. They're both voiced by Howie Mandel. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I can what? dig that. I didn't even know that <laughs> until I looked it up like a couple of years ago, and I was like... Howie Mandel voiced this shit? <laughs> fucking Bobby's World, Howie Mandel? <laughs> And so ever since I found that out, I've been like really wanting to like replay it. But every time I try to find a version of it online to download, it never works and it always sucks. Mm -hmm. I think it's just because my computer's too good. Yeah. And that was working on like huge pieces of shit in like the 90s. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I think there are ways to emulate older PCs. But it, it's more technical than I would want to get right. into. Um, one of my favorite like educational type games is called Typing of the Dead. You ever play it? 
No, nah, I never heard of it. I don't think my parents would have saw that and would have been like, let's get Jackson typing of the dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was like those uh, arcade games, like zombie games. What were those called? Um, you know, taking, talking about with the light guns. Like Carnival? And yeah. Uh, yeah, and then there's Time Crisis, Area 51. House of the Dead. House of the Dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like it was like House of the Dead. It was like a it was like on rails and type. If you wanted to kill zombies, you had to type above like the, what was above their heads. All right. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, that game was the shit. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty fucking fun. Yeah, mm. uh, I had a question for you guys. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait. I've I've been seeing. I had a thought go through my brain of, it's been like over a year since. Will Smith did the slap. What's it going to take for him to come back and be in the public light again and actually be accepted again? Because I don't think Bad Boys is going to do it. Yeah, the trailers seem to just focus on Martin Lawrence and like Will Smith had like one line. And they uh, showed him for like a half a second, so I don't know. What about that uh, I Am Legend 2? Yeah. Well, I think he's going to need to get prequel. slapped. Yeah. Connor's got it. I think... What's going to have to happen is it's going to have to be some big event. It I'll, has to be. I'll tell you yeah. exactly what he needs to do. He needs to break it off with Jada. Mm. Completely completely separate himself from Jada. Get her name out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get, <laughs> yeah, get her yeah, get her name out of his mouth. <laughs> and <laughs> And then and then he needs to, oh, like, Jesus. come back to Chris Rock and take full ownership. And don't try to do any kind of publicity with it. Just be like, come to Chris Rock. Be like, hey, that was wrong what I did. Mm-hmm. Fucking, she's crazy. You know, you see what she's done to my mind. Because, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> honestly, man, like... I, 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 gener- I generally feel like she is off of her rocker, and if you hang out with people who are off of their rocker, you eventually come to the dark side as well, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Kardashians. Look at everyone that's yeah. hung out with the Kardashians. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, everyone. <laughs> Fuck everyone, yeah. Amber Heard, that's another one. She had it all. Yeah. We're- <laughs> she, she had an old doc, she had old Johnny Depp. <laughs> what more could you ask for? See, I think it has to be some big event, and it ha- you might as well just instead of like this next year, just don't even be like Super Bowl doesn't have a music musical guest for halftime. Oh, it's just the event is Will Smith is going to get slapped by fucking Chris Ooh, Rock. Yeah, <laughs> a and, fucking line starts. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> nope, just one slap. Just one slap. It'd be like one slap. an airplane where people just keep lining yeah. up. Just like, <laughs> and it, all it needs to be is Will Smith is just pre in the middle of the stadium, and you need to have a spotlight on Chris Rock coming out of the walkway hall and just him walking all the way down the field, nice. dude. Spotlight on him. And just it's just the one big build up. Bam, a slap. You know what I'm saying? I yep. mean, it's got to be Rocky Balboa music as he's coming out of the tunnel. Yes, yeah. dude. <laughs> I think we make it into more of a like power slap event type thing, mm. you know? Oh, okay. Make him have all the rules of power slap and then, yeah, force him to play. It's like, hey, when are you guys yeah. going down? Yeah. Okay, We're so you let, this fight. you let Will Smith yeah. keep slapping. <laughs> yeah, I make you it a fair more, competition. Yeah. You more know? bites at the apple. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I got one. I got one more thing. Will Smith could do. You could make Wild Wild West too. Yeah. Yeah. He could do that. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd do be it. pretty good. Make yeah. Chris Rock the villain of it, and yeah. then let him win at the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that'd be so fucking crazy. Yeah. Chris Rock the villain. <laughs> he he's got to so win. There's this whole scene where you just keep slapping Chris Rock again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sounds like fun, man. Chris Rock gets fucking spider legs. And he's like, he's like uh, I'm going to fucking slap you now. <laughs> it's, it's eight different slaps coming at him. My feet. It, all right. I can't. I don't think I should finish that quote. I think it might be racist now. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's that's how he has to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's got to get slapped. 
He's got to get slapped. Mm-hmm. For it, for the minds of America to be like one for one, like yeah. But mainly eye for an eye. That's America's way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? For me, I, all I think he needs to do is leave Jada, and then I don't know, go the Keanu Reeves route after he leaves her. <laughs> People love Keanu. Yeah, I love Keanu. It's hard to not love Keanu. He's wholesome. He's good. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. he's the one. You know, so you want him to go the counter out and make bad sequels to his best movies? No, be a cool no. dude. Oh, no. oh, just the cool dude part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's one way to do it, but mainly leave Jada, get away from her, do it, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Take the kids, get out. <laughs> Those kids are adults now, right? They are adults. <laughs> Take the dog and get out. Or actually, you know what? In that in that situation, pull the uh, what's his name, uh, the Ron White route. Say I'm leaving and I'm taking the dog. And then when she's like, you can't take the dog, I'm keeping the dog. I'll be like, fine, you can keep the dog, and then still leave. But then she feels like she won. But really, all you wanted to do is leave and get out of there. Hmm. Mm-hmm. You might lose right. a couple of good dogs that way during breakups, but <laughs> a couple of good hounds. But yeah. so I wanted to play a little bit, of, uh, do a little bit of word association with you guys. Oh, you guys done with that? Yeah, absolutely. So I came. I have a list of words that came to my brain this week. Mm. Some of them, some of them were kind of triggering for me, to be honest. Okay, triggering words. Cool. Mm-hmm. We'll see what you guys think. All right. First word that may trigger you guys. Jelly. What's what comes to your brain? Jello. Mm. Uh peanut butter jelly sandwich. Concord grape. Uh that one <laughs> that that one song it's about the three little pigs by Green Jello. That's uh, Green Jello? Yellow Green I don't know. It's like a little rock song. It's claymation. <laughs> you know about the uh band that Danny Carey was in before Tool? Uh maybe. I, think I, that's I don't know the band that he it's, was in. Yeah, it's just you know rock and roll version of Three Little Pigs, and at the end of it, Rambo shoots the wolf. So it's it's mm. a, man, man. <laughs> I don't know. You might be thinking of Insane Clown Posse. No, it's uh, it's <laughs> they also have a Three Little <laughs> Pigs song that's kind of yeah. like the same. Thing. God, it makes me want to kill myself. Definitely Green Day. Right. <laughs> the context for which I first heard that song for the first time ever was like at this junky fucking house where it was like a latchkey kid. I don't think I ever saw that kid's parents even one time. Right. Ooh. I've never heard always wanting to show me his fucking go-kart that he'd been working on. Never once I ever saw it run. Mm-hmm. The junkiest house, dude. Just one of those houses we walk up and there's like, I don't know, maybe seven or eight wheels to, and they're all different wheels. Uh, Here's yeah. the thing. I don't think I've ever heard Insane Clown Posse he's like, in a nice setting. He's like, dude, you're going to want to fucking hear this song, man. Check this out. It's the coolest song. Played it for me. I'm like, Mm. <laughs> the first little piggy, his mouth was made of brick. Something, nice, something, dude. Something he a fucking dick. <laughs> I don't know. Like <sighs> he's acting it out and stuff. He's very. Uh, he was uh, acting it out, and well, that's uh, what made it even better. He's very. Yeah. <laughs> he's really into it, man. Yeah, man. This is the kind of kid that wore like a fucking, like a, a literal chain off a bike as a fucking necklace. Good for him. And then he punched David on the bus. I want to say right. Fuck yeah, he did. Yeah. He was a cool dude. He's yeah. a punk. Pretty sure he was also very intimate with his sister. It's kind of weird. <laughs> not going to go there. Yeah, do We're you, not going to go there. Do, do you think he ever got that, that uh, go-kart working? Fuck yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah. He's probably still driving it to yeah, this fuck day. Yeah, good for that him. kind of kid, he's super driven. Good. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to get that go-kart to work. Heck yeah, man. He was collecting is what yeah. he was to make an empire. He was yeah. going to eventually make a fleet. <laughs> I see what he was doing. Years yeah. later, smart. Yeah. 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 He's collecting all those bike chains around his neck because he was going to make a bunch of them. Yeah. You know, a bunch of them. Good he just wanted him. to make sure he always had them. Yeah, he was an entrepreneur, really. Really? Yeah, yeah future looking. Yeah. Uh, what's the, what, what's the, what about this next word? Corruption. US government. government. <laughs> Most governments, really. Yeah. Eruption. Oh, nice. Erup- what? Corruption, eruption. Yeah. All right. Corruption, saying, eruption. Connor's onto something. Yeah. There's also a good North there or North Lane song that 
I don't know, there's a part where he says corruption, and I'm like, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> Same with Whitechapel. Whitechapel has a part where they also say corruption, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> what about claustrophobic? Uh, no breathing. Connor's trunk. Yeah, that, in the, uh, what was it? What was I driving? Was that the Civic, or was that the, uh, was that the Camaro? I believe. I'm, I want to say that was the Camaro. Yeah. See, it was the Camaro. So you're in that little pod area where the uh, the the top of the the t tops the glass panes would go in. Were you in that? <laughs> no, I must have been in the Civic then. Okay, this uh, like the Civic then. Yeah, because okay. I don't yeah. see you being in that little thing where the fucking yeah. the twenties were the twenty inch subs. Because there's that rack with the twenty inch subs on the top, and then there's that little little area where the t tops would go. I don't think you would have been like ball in there, you know, like yeah. Uh, You've been in way too many trunks over the years, Jack. Yeah, what's Next going time, on with that? Next time, just say no. <laughs> I think I've only been in one. <laughs> no, you were also in TJ's trunk. What? Yeah, on the way to that concert. Was I it the was same? In, no. Is it the same time you're talking about right now? No. Huh. Huh. No. Huh. Are you talking about the time that I rode with TJ to the concert with... I think it was like Mike Charles and a few other people. And then as soon as he get there, he was like... I want to go pill hunting. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then, he, then he got way messed up, and then he was like driving on the way home, and we were like, "Okay, pull over. We need to go to the bathroom." He pulls over, and we immediately just grab his keys, and we're like, "You're not driving, dude." That's a good call. <laughs> yeah, that's a real no. good call. We tried to like get him, like get one of us to drive before we left, and he was yeah. not having it. And we were we were almost to the point where we were gonna like call our parents and like just have them pick us up. But we were like, okay. He does this a lot. Let's just see. Yeah. Let's just see how he does, and then we like we notice like he's not doing good. He's not on out at the wheel. So we're like, okay, pull over and uh, we're gonna pee. Grab the keys. And we're like, all right, here's the deal. We're gonna call your grandma, or you're gonna let us drive your car home. And yeah, he caved and let us drive. All that for one word, huh? All that. All that for one word. Hey, man. man. Next word. I got to see Suicide Silence out of that, and then (laughs) it dude died like a couple months later, so it was worth it. True. Next word. Assassin. Creed. Mm. Hmm. James Bond. (laughs) Uh, Hitman. Scorpions. Scorpions. Mm. Yeah. Scorpion King. Mm, mm. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> I got nothing off of it. I can't go any further than Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dice. Snake eyes. Ooh, nice. Uh, loaded. Tron, motherfucker. Look at me, America. <laughs> Tron is out here living all the city. <laughs> Insane. In the membrane, bro. Clown posse. I mean, we were just talking about it. Mm. Sprayed. What do you think? Cats. Uh, sprayed cats. Yeah, cat spray. It's the grossest fucking thing ever. Bottle. Cheesing. <laughs> Cheesing. Cheesing. <laughs> Spritz. Uh, uh, potion. Tss, 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 that sound. Tss, 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 you know, like from a bottle that you, you yeah. know, squirt. That's exactly what I was going to go with. <laughs> One word. Greatest. Ever. Mm. Greatest. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm associating greatest with greatest. Uh. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> Next word. Closet. <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> Hanger. <laughs> Hanger. Yeah. I don't know. I associate it with, I don't know, closets. <laughs> mm. Clothes and people that haven't come out as gay yet. <laughs> Those are nice. two things. <laughs> Next word. Justified. Uh, Timothy Oliphant. Yep, yep, yep. I want to say uh, Justin... Uh, Bieber for some reason okay. uh, you said justify I'm thinking Justin Justin Bieber <laughs> yeah. uh, right on 
I was trying to think. Yeah. Justin, I was trying to think Justin Timberlake, but I couldn't uh. think of Timberlake. So I'm like, fuck it, Bieber. But, yeah, close, <laughs> close, close enough. You know, close enough. Yeah, Word association. Yeah. yeah. Your wires got crossed halfway there, yeah. man. So. Yeah. Fuck it. I just watched that Diddy thing last night, and just, uh. there's the Justin Bieber part. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying. I don't know. It was a TMZ thing on Tubi. Mm. Did Diddy fuck Bieber? It was just some creepy videos of him um, when, like, Justin was, like, I don't know, 12 or 13 or something, and Diddy had, like, control over him for, like, a 48-hour period. Jesus. And, like, uh, then later on, there was another video of, like, a, a year or two later, and it was just, like, him being weird. He's like, hey, you never, you never call me anymore, man. What's the deal? And you could tell, like, Justin was very, like, weirded out by the whole thing. He's like, oh, you know, you, you, you just didn't really want to answer the question, you know? And it was just kind of really weird and awkward. Yeah. So it's like, man, that, yeah. that sucks. Gotta watch out for Diddy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be on the lookout for Diddy now. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never thought I'd say that. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Be careful in the streets. Diddy's out there. He's lurking around. <laughs> <laughs> Watch I'm still trying to remember the name of that rapper that I supposedly heard the audio of them two boning very aggressively, uh. very aggressively. Uh. Like it's 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 funny every time I listen to it. Mm. I can't stop laughing every time I listen to it. I guess his girlfriend had uh, Diddy's girlfriend at the time, Cassie something. Um, she like had like had a split with Diddy for a little bit, and she got with Kid Cudi. And then I guess Diddy found out about it and threatened to blow up his car. And apparently Kid Cudi's car did get blown up. Jesus. Um, so it was just like, damn, there's some some stuff happening, you know. Diddy's wild. Yeah. Today? Yeah. <laughs> Diddy's wild. If you watch Get Him to the Greek now, it's a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holding these balloons. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the studio down. Uh, next word. Time. Management. Time flows. Mm. Uh, the, the thing that pops in my head is just in time. Friggin' Huey Lewis in the news, bro. Mm. Next word. Addiction. No breathing. <laughs> Everything is no breathing. <laughs> Suffocation. Suffocation, no breathing. Addiction, no breathing. <laughs> um, imagine if like, there was a dick on my shin. <laughs> <laughs> like a tattoo or like a, a, a an actual. Addiction. Yeah. I like that. How big is that addiction? <laughs> Fucking bigger than one I got. <laughs> Uh, next word Saturday mm. Party mm. It's the night before Friday night And I feel alright <laughs> That's word association for it's you man I'm giving you a word, word. To, Yeah you did it uh, Next word The party's here on the west side <laughs> <laughs> Cultish What? Cultish Cultish Kool-Aid Ish yeah, Kool Aid. Like Colt, C U L T. Yeah. Or, all right. That's a weird word. Cultish. Mm. Cultish. Yeah. Let's say shellfish because it kind of sounds. Yeah. Cuttlefish. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cuttlefish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cultish. Uh, VHS two, the movie. The mm. fucking cult scene in that is the most insane thing I've ever seen. Mm. Next word. Impossible. M Kim. Mission. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> My official answer is dude. dude. <laughs> Next word. Animal. Uh, Party. Rob Snyder. Muppets. Because he was that animal cop. You know, like took all the different parts of. <laughs> That's good. Badger. <laughs> <laughs> Next word. Telemarketer. Sucks. <laughs> Hell. Yeah. Death. Where'd he go to just wither oh, away? Is, is death the next word or what we... <laughs> no, that's what I think of. Okay. <laughs> Sweet release. <laughs> <laughs> next word. American. Fuck yeah. 
America. Yeah. I like mm-hmm. that. We got a style. I'll say that. <laughs> Bald eagles. The red, white, and blue. Mm. <laughs> The, the stars and stripes. Oh, did you beat me to it, man? <laughs> we definitely adopted the whole Trump personality of we're number one, but we're really not Ooh. in so many categories. But mm, I wouldn't say that's the Trump personality. I think that mm. has been something that's been American for a long time. Uh, yeah, it is a personality of his to say like anything he's associated with, associated with has been the best that's ever been and has been the most successful. <laughs> I'm trying to think of his time yeah. when he went to the UN. He was like, my presidency has been the most successful, possibly any presidency in the United States has ever been. Hey, I'm not saying he's not exaggerating shit. I'm just saying that people thinking America is number one is not something that was Trump doing. It's something that's been that way since at least World War II, if not before then. We won that one because we're number one. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to credit Trump yeah. for something that okay, yeah, I believe the American troops fought for. <laughs> <laughs> my bad for like mixing those. It was my bad for mixing those. <laughs> Next word. Tunnel. Dig. Love. What? I said dig. Oh, okay. Dig. dig. I thought you said dick. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Vision. Uh, nice. Yeah. And the last word, dumb as fuck. Three words. Daff. Dumb as fuck. Daff. Hmm. Dumb as fuck. Oh, uh, you know, uh, seeing a hot stove and like, is this hot? And then boom, it's hot. Like, ow, that's hot. Okay. I guess hitting my hitting my shins on uh, my bed my bed frame. Mm, yeah, because I feel dumb as fuck when I do that. As a as a tall person, I see everything that can hit my head, but I still hit my head. Yeah, and the, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel dumb as fuck. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's running into stuff. Yeah. Okay. And the last word. Did we just do the last <laughs> word? <laughs> Skyfall. <laughs> too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> All right, Connor, you got a game. So for fun, don't answer these questions seriously. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, and the, these will get a little bit longer the the farther this goes. Only ten questions, though. Okay. Okay. Question number one: What did Daddy always tell you? And if you don't have an answer for that, what did Diddy always tell you? Mm-hmm. Okay. What did Daddy always tell? You? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. so you know, like, we'll go. We'll go back to. We'll go to two, but I might ask you for number one again. So unless we flipping it over right now, we can. Uh, we, can we can do all the answers and then. Uh, we only have seventeen minutes before Caleb's gotta leave. So yeah, so okay. let's do this. Let's. Do you want the next question, or do you yeah. want to do the? Go answer? ahead and give me the next question. I'm still thinking on one. Wait, okay. what? Go. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. When have we ever did this uh, for yeah, any okay. game we've ever That's played? Fair. That's ever. fair. Jackson, hurt. Just write the like, first fucking thing that comes to your brain. I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't have to be don't funny. Don't put that you in your mouth. Something down. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> I like that. Give yourself a point for that one. Ooh. All right. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's fair. I'll give you a point for that. Don't do that. <laughs> Hi, gay. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the Diddy one. Okay, I'll give you a point for that as well. <laughs> this one's a, a quick one. You can make it more complicated if you want. Are donut holes a sign of things to come? And if yes, what is that thing to come? 
So it can be a no if you want to go that route. Our donut hole is a sign of things to come. If so, what is that? No, but the glaze is. Oh, <laughs> dude. oh man. Yes. Give me a point. Give me or give you a point. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> give oh. me a point. <laughs> <laughs> My God. All right. <laughs> Kyle? Yes. It's a sign that they're gonna make holes great again. Mm, okay. Mm, I like yep. to turn a phrase. Yep. Give you a point. Jackson? Uh, I disagree. Donut holes are no nut holes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, point. You guys are killing it. All right, next question. What's hotter than the sun? What is hotter than the sun? What's hotter than the sun? Oops. Well, I, I don't know if you mm. actually need that. <laughs> hmm. All right. So what's hotter than the sun? Caleb. You, baby. Oh. Connor. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dude. I don't know if I can actually give you a point for that one. Um, mm. Pandering doesn't work, huh? <laughs> Suck up points. Don't. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Kyle. Plump titties, big old titties, love them. Okay. I'm, I'm feeling you, dude. I'm feeling them titties, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Plump titties, big old titties. <laughs> Jackson. Brokeback Mountain 2 with Margot Robbie and Ex <laughs> oh, Alexandra Daddario. Nice. Yeah, point that, dude. <laughs> yeah, get that in production, please. Can we just combine both of ours together? <laughs> All right, question four. What is the push-up bra equivalent for men? It could be anything. It could be any part of a man, anything that could enhance him. What is the push-up bra equivalent for men? Be anything you can think of. Mm -hmm. Do we have it? Yes. No, Jackson? Jackson, he's doing All right, Caleb. Truck lifts. Truck lifts. Kyle. Tight jock strap. Mm. All right, so Jackson gets the point for the cucumber. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Classic cucumber move, man. Oh, okay. Oh, were we supposed to name what that's called for guys? Um, no, just something to make me laugh and... Giggle okay. and have gotcha. a good time about gotcha. it. Gotcha, gotcha. But hey, I like I like the uh, I like the ideas here. Okay, number five. Have I gotten a point every time so far? No, you have not. Um, you definitely have not. I'm not sure if you even got a point yet. Nope. I would <laughs> say I, I, don't believe, <laughs> I don't believe I have. I think you've gotten a point every one of them, and then you should don't have, have like no nuts? three, and then you should have two. I want to say. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, I want to say you've gotten in a, a classic whole Jackson point. fashion. He thinks he's the funniest out of all of us. He, 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 every one of his comments, he thinks. He's good. Um, <laughs> Score reflects it, Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Number five. Um, if you had spiked hair, do you regret spiked hair? Thoughts on spiked hair. Could be anything. Any of the questions that you want to answer? Did you have spiked hair? Do you like it? Do you regret it? Thoughts on it? What? What's? What's with the spiked hair? Oh, 
I was really dramatic with how I was writing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Cha 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 All right, Caleb. The bigger, the better. Like Eiffel Tower, big. That's that's as big as I want to see it. Yeah. You know? Okay, point that up, baby. Kyle. More frosted tips. <laughs> the <grain. laughs> yeah. Frosted tips can't be more. You can get the spikes and the frosted. Give yeah. me a point. You, point that. I'm on the same line as Kyle here, man. I eat, live, breathe, protozoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom, boom. Give yourself a point, Jack. That's awesome. I would have accepted anything in sync or Backstreet Boys, but nice. yeah, Protozoa, yeah. dude. Fuck Zenith yeah. Zenith Lapidus. Yeah, <laughs> Fucking getting it, dude. All right. What is your top two favorite animals? They don't have to be real animals. And who would win in a fight? Top two favorite animals don't have to be real. And who would win in the fight? <laughs> I can't even think of animals right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it could also be like a creature, mythological beast, anything mm. that you could think of that would just pop in your head. Mm, okay. Fuck. <laughs> so I'm still just like blank. Uh, skip me. I get no score this time. All right, Too Caleb. Long. A dragon, specifically a worm, versus a kangaroo mouse, and nobody wins because oh. it was just way too gory, and it's unfortunate. Dude, I love the idea of using a worm-type dragon. Get, yeah, point. Ooh, Kyle. Ooh, ooh, making uh, a comeback. The evolution of the sand shrew is the sand slash. Versus a panther. Versus a panther. Uh, the, the, sand, the sand slash wins. Dude, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, realistically, it would win, yeah. Nope. Go ahead. Give yourself a point. Jackson, last thoughts. See if you can th think of something in your head. Okay, well, since he said Pokemon, I'm going to go ahead and bring it. All right, never mind. I'm not going to do Pokemon, Kyle. Yep. I'm not going to do he Pokemon. He used one Pokemon. That's it. Here's what. No, he backing off of me. Digimon. No. That's a whole. Yu Gi Oh! No, you sort of, <laughs> you're like Digimon. And I'm like, oh. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. <laughs> Angelmon versus uh, fucking Metal. What's his name? Greymon? Garamon? Mm. Metal Greymon? Greymon? Metal Gururumon? Is it. He's the one that's uh, the fucking T-Rex, dude, with the metal skull. Yeah. Yeah, yeah versus Metal Greymon. And who wins? Ally versus Ally. Uh, Greymon, of course. Of course. Okay, I'll give you a point for that. Uh, I didn't hit the time limit. I will not give take the point. All right, fair enough. All right, we're going to do quick this time. Um, what fictional movie do you wish was real? What fictional movie do you wish was real? I gotta look up the title for it real quick. Forgive me. For the audio listeners, I'm gonna really make this sound good. All right, Oops. Caleb. Add the colons into it. Um, Harry Potter, Revenge of the Sith, Reloaded. Is the, <laughs> is, is the movie. <laughs> All right, 
Ted gives him a point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Jackson. The oh. last man on planet Earth. Came out in 1999. Concept. I'm the only guy on the Earth. But it, I'm not the only human <laughs> on the Earth, if that makes any sense. Ooh. Mm. Lots Scary. Of, lots of pussy. <laughs> In other words, I'm the only option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Didn't give yourself a point for that. Okay. I was, I was going to say no, but now that you said that, give yourself a point. Kyle. How to train your dragon. One, two, One, three, two, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> Is that six points? Okay, yeah, give yourself a point for that. Six points. <laughs> All right, question eight. Um, who do you, who would you like to tape up mummy style, and what kind of tape? Uh, who would you like to tape up mummy style, and what kind of tape? Could be anybody. Could be anybody. Could be anyone. You're taping them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a weird visual to play. <laughs> Think of the person you'd most like to tape up, and now you're doing it. Yeah. Uh, Jackson's yeah. taking forever over here, sorry. Jackson, we're running out of time with this. We got three minutes. <laughs> All right. All right, Caleb. Shakira, Fruit by the Foot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, two points. None of us are worthy of points on this. <laughs> None of us are worthy of points on this. Oh, my God. That's fucking great, dude. Uh, Kyle. Josh, Josh Gad. He annoys the shit out of me with okay. some blue tape. Yeah. I didn't know that Fuck. we could answer like that. That is fucking awesome. Uh, I just put Gumby with Gorilla Tape. I don't know. I'll give Kyle a point. All right. I was happy. <laughs> I was Shakira. <laughs> I was going to have you guys draw this one, but I'm not. Okay, so just envision a man with three legs. Who is he? Why does he have three legs? Mm. You don't have to draw him, but it was going to be a thing. But who who is the man with three legs? Why does he have three legs? Yeah, I'm not going to draw. <laughs> He's just doing draw. It's 10-18, guys. Running out of time with Caleb. 10-19. I really am sorry about the time restrictions. On oh, it. you're good, bro. You're good. So I'll make sure All we right. get the game through. All right. Uh, Austin Powers mini me because hey! of his long member. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, yes, points for those. Large penis, God among men, worthy of all women. What the fuck is that answer, Kyle? <laughs> uh, I was asking. Yeah, um, say no point on that one. It's okay. <laughs> Listen, the God of all men are the people with the micro penises. Bringing down the average for us folks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> They're the guys I'm All right. They're the true heroes. Last question. If you were Bullseye, played by Colin Farrell in the hit movie Daredevil 2003, starring Ben Affleck, <laughs> Michael Clark Duncan, and Jennifer Gardner, how would you use your powers? If you were Bullseye, played by Colin Farrell in the hit movie Daredevil 2003, starring Ben Affleck, Michael Clark Duncan, and Jennifer Gardner, how would you use your powers?
Mm. All right. I did for good. Also, by not killing old people with nuts and paper clips. Uh, mm. you. If you watch the movie, he would be killing people yeah. with that. Kyle make mini shish kebabs. Mm. Does he do that? He could with paper clips. <sighs> Jackson. Uh, no change. Ride like the wind, bullseye. <laughs> <laughs> Good attempt, guys. Good attempt. But if you would have been more uh, in character with that, I think you guys would have got points. So go ahead and tally them up. Really quick. Eight. I got seven. Wait, five, six, seven, eight. I got How'd I get more than. I got uh, seven. Yeah. Woo! All right. Well, Kayla wins because he was smart enough to think of Shakira and fu- Fruit by the Foot. Yeah, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that's where we're all going to go with it. I Damn. mean, you know? But wow. I mean, he's the winner. Good job, dude. That's that's the game. Cool. That is it. I'm right. sorry, guys, but I got to go. Mm-hmm. I love you guys, and good. I appreciate you guys having me over. Bye, he's Caleb. Been, he's been Caleb. Woo! Have Bye. a good one. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Later, guys. And with Caleb's exit oh. here, we could probably just move into Yo Dude, right? We're going to move into odd news, man. Oh, fucking odd news. Odd news. See you guys. Bye, Caleb. Bye, Caleb. And that was Caleb. Beautiful man. Beautiful man and well. Manuel. Yeah, let's go ahead and... uh, Let's go ahead and skip odd news this week. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, let's go ahead and move into Yo Do Check This Out. Yo Do! Yo, what's up? Check this out. Yo, dude. Yo, dude, check this out. Uh, PlayStation is also making their restrictions on that Ghost of Tsushima game that they did with the Helldivers 2 game. So it looks like even more people are going to be pissed at PlayStation. So it seems like all the PC games are now going to have PlayStation requirements for them, which is interesting because I think, like, didn't the games before Helldivers didn't have that? Well, because they also didn't have any, like, uh, trophy integration, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I can see that being part of the reason why they would do it, but still, it's lame. Because I don't think, like, with, like, Horizon Forbidden, uh, not Forbidden West, but Horizon Zero Dawn, you didn't have to have anything like that, as far as I know. Mm -mm. So it's kind of weird, you know, but. Here's the thing. I really don't care that much if I gotta link a PlayStation account I'll do it it's just it's just an annoying step that I have to take and all they want out of it is just my information mm-hmm pretty much yeah they want the Jackson goodies like I already linked my PlayStation and Steam like years ago so it's not a big deal for someone like me but like people that don't have access to that I mean it really does suck for them but it's like where you have to move to a different country to be able to play a video game, you know? It's like, come on, man. Also, another way I look at it, if you're going to make me like have to link an account and all that, come out with your own PlayStation type thing like Game Pass is doing and allow me to play like all some of these day one stuff on my PC, you mm-hmm. know? Don't make me wait a whole year and a half to play it or some shit. They definitely need their own launcher at least, you know? And then build out from there, probably. That'll piss people off, too, man, having a launcher. Yeah. That'll really piss people off. Because yeah. people don't want to get out of Steam. Yeah, as long as you keep offering stuff in Steam. But, I mean, they probably wouldn't at that point. Yeah. So I've got a, I've got a couple of Yo Dudes. I'm just going to roll all of, all of what I wanted to talk about into my Yo Dudes, okay? So, do you guys see that Google is now planning to use their AI for cybersecurity? Isn't that sound like the dumbest fucking thing you've ever heard? Yeah, it does sound pretty dumb. But I mean, most AI isn't really even AI. It's right. It's just like a, a, a program that's taken in a lot of information, you know? So it's like, I don't... What mm-hmm. does that even mean? AI can only do what is already given to it, you know? Right. It can only work based off of what is, already exists. And real AI is going to be able to think on its own do its own thing, have its own purpose, you know? True. Another one. Yo, dude, check this out. Did you guys know that poison ivy, it's just a common myth that you can transmit poison ivy from, like, one person to the next or whatever? 
Oh yeah. It's just it's just a myth. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. Well, unless you still have the oils on your skin. Exactly. But if you clean the oils off, then you can't transmit it, right? Right. Yeah, you see people with poison ivy and like like they're like they got leprosy. You know, feel like ooh. Mm hmm. Yeah. And my last thing here, dude, yo, do check this out. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes was the fucking shit. Was it? Oh my god, dude. What would you rate it? I would give it probably a nine. Nine? Yeah, nine out of ten. Uh, it it had some of the best CGI that I've ever seen, dude. If not the best CGI that I've ever seen. Um, there is a couple apes in the movie, like um, some of them that are like the big gorilla type apes. One of them is like a continual threat for the main character throughout the whole movie. You just constantly are seeing this giant ape that is just fucking domineering. And the Jackson. Yeah. The um, <laughs> that's a chimp, sorry. The facial reactions that they keep showing him do are, are just next level, dude. It's like I can't believe this is something that they've done digitally. It is fucking crazy. It's almost kind of like Avatar impressions, like when you first watch that, you're like, man, I can't believe they got to this level yeah. now. Like mm -hmm. multiple times throughout the movie, I just kept thinking, this is the best CGI that I've ever seen. This is even better than Avatar. Like, this is fucking crazy, dude. Man, it was it was next level. Like the movie for for one, the movie it started off slow. It let you it, it builds, it shows it gives you a little you know, more context with the characters, lets you sit with the characters for a while. Like the main characters that you're going to be with this probably the whole trilogy, you know what I'm saying? Because this mm -hmm. is the first one. This is the first movie of a trilogy, but uh, it really builds. It it has some of the best action scenes that I've ever seen. It's got some really cool like flooding scenes. Um, the main villain, the Proximus Caesar guy, he has some of the coolest lines that I've ever seen, like or heard. He one one of them. I just want I just want to say like he. He's obsessed with like evolution and he's like, I want to evolve. I want to I want instant evolution. It's like it's it's so fucking <laughs> cool, man. Some of his lines are just so like I'm gonna be quoting them for years. I love it. It's so good. I recommend it highly. Um some of the fur tech, I'm like, this fur looks real fur, dude. This is fucking real fur. It's not. Kyle's a furry now. Yep. <laughs> Insane. That's all I got. Nice. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. Uh, Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones is the first all-digital live-action movie. And that means that there was no film in the production of making it until it had to be made for theater reels. Hmm. So, yeah, it was the first movie to do all-digital and require no film until it actually had it to be made into production. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, I never knew that. That's a pretty good, that's an interesting fact. Yeah. You know what the first movie on DVD was? What? The Matrix? Twister. Hmm. Wow. Yep. And then the first uh, nude, and the first new Disney movie to go to DVD was Tarzan. Hmm. There you go. That's cool. Man, they showed a trailer for the new Mufasa movie before fucking Planet of the Apes. And I guess Timon and Pumba are in that movie at some point. Like, I was like, what? What is happening here with this <laughs> movie, dude? I'll never watch it. I still haven't seen uh, the live action Lion King. Dude, that movie made so much fucking money. I don't know if you ever looked at the numbers, but. I it's, bet it did. It's crazy, man. I just... I don't have really a desire to see any of the actual classics in live action. They suck. What I want is... I want Atlantis, Treasure, Treasure Planet. Planet. Yeah. Like, I want the ones that I know are going to be visually stunning to see whenever I go to watch it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see Aladdin have, like, a whole bunch of musical numbers and, fit, like... That Aladdin movie yeah. blows, dude. Yeah. It does. It's really bad. And when everyone was like, it's actually good when it first came out, I'm like, no, it fucking sucks. <laughs> it sure did, dude. 
I wouldn't mind like a uh, more detailed animation of like a lot of those movies, you know, um, you could keep all the voice acting lines. You wouldn't really have to redo those, but just like enhance the visuals in a lot of ways, add more detail to everything, you know? Yeah. There's also, a lot that they could do with like shading and like, uh, gosh, I guess like showing a light. I mean, that's a form of shading, but like, um, just like how like a lot of new anime in these days can show camera rotations around things, you know, not just like one stagnant shot. I think that that'd be something that'd be pretty cool to see. I would also love to see the 2d animation style come back. You know, I would love to see like another emperor's new groove or something like that, you know, because I feel like those movies were just, to me, I thought they were funnier than the 3d movies. That's just me. I feel like once they got into 3D, I feel like, eh. Now it's kind of like, now this is the thing. But I'm never, because of this new thing, I'm never going to see any more 2D animation out there, really. Unless it's in cartoons like TV shows. Yeah. I don't know. I just miss my cartoon movies. Mm -hmm. I agree. You're right, Jackson. You're right. Yo, dude, I miss my cartoon movies. <laughs> Where's my Emperor's New Grooves? <laughs> yep. And that's the episode, guys. We're running on a side note. <laughs> episode no, 137. They took away your cartoon movies. I hope you know that. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never kick them. They'll never give them back. <laughs> Thank you, left side or right side, whichever you feel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm libertarian. I think they're both dumbs. Dumb dumbs. Oh, I'm not Jackson. actually libertarian. I think libertarians are dumb dumbs. <laughs> <laughs> it's all dumb dumbs. <laughs> they're all dumb dumbs. Well, happy Mother's Day once again in episode 137. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your week. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace. Bye. Crashing with friends. Oh.